your DSLR to your TV or HDTV or monitor, basically any TV that has an HDMI port, okay? And of course, your, um, your DSLR does have to be, um, it does have to have a HDMI out on here. And let me show you what that looks like, which is right here, HDMI out. And this should work for, I mean, pretty much all DSLRs, but this one is a Canon. This is a T6i. Uh, for the, those of you outside the U.S., this is a, um, a 750D. Okay, so it takes a mini HDMI out, all right? So now the thing is, I mean, you need an HDMI cable. Now, you can get one of these here. And the thing is, like, make sure you stick around to the video because I, I could not get a signal but this between my TV for, like, three days. And then finally I figured it out. There was a small issue. But anyways... So here's a cable. This is a um, HDMI mini to an HDMI, a standard HDMI. Okay, so here's the mini and here's the regular standard HDMI that goes into the back of your TV. Now, if you already have a HDMI cord, like a regular one, like for, for instance, if you have something like this, just a regular one, what you can do is you can buy a simple adapter, one of these HDMI mini adapters, just like this, and you can just plug that into there, and then you'll have your HDMI mini port right here. I'll put a link for a uh, kit for the, both of these uh, devices in the description below. But anyways, I already have my uh, cable already hooked up on the back of my TV here. And then I'm going to connect the HDMI uh, mini part into my camera here. So let me go ahead and plug this in. Okay, it's all the way in. Now I'm going to go ahead and simply turn this on my camera here. And now I'm gonna to go to my TV here. Let me just shut my TV off and I'm, I'm gonna put it back on. Now what we gotta do is we gotta find the correct uh, HDMI uh, input or source, okay? So my TV is on here and then I'm gonna press on input here on my remote. You might, you might have something called source and then you wanna go down to the correct HDMI. It's already on the correct HDMI because I can see already my camera is showing here. But mine was on HDMI 2 because it was already highlighted. So here's 2 right here. Let me press on enter. And now let me go ahead and grab my camera here. Let me open this up. Open up the viewfinder. And okay, so right now it's showing no signal. Uh, let me go back into my... Okay, there we go. So HDMI 2. Okay, so here we go. And now let me go ahead and click on the viewfinder here. And we can see that I'm showing a live view. And I'm going to record a video, and I'm also going to uh, take some photos. And you'll be able to see all your photos on your um, from your SD card on your camera as well. Okay. Now, for the for those of you that are connecting this and you have like no support issue, um, let me go ahead and take a photo here, just like this. Let's go ahead and focus on somewhere else. The first thing is that you cannot have your Wi-Fi enabled. You, if you have Wi-Fi on your DSLR. It's not going to work if it's basically just going to keep showing no signal. Okay, now the problem that I had was it wasn't a Wi Fi. I changed around tons of settings for the past like three days and I could simply not get this to connect. What I had to do was reset my Canon DSLR back to factory settings. As soon as I did that, I plugged in my HDMI cord and it popped right on. Okay, so make sure if you're having trouble connecting, just go ahead and clear. Um, all your camera settings go back to factory default okay just as if you bought it out of the box so you can see photos on here let me go ahead and let me go in and see the photos that I just took here oops so here's a photo that I just I just took here and the cool thing is even though my viewfinder is off I can still zoom in like this okay and here's some other photos I took earlier today you can see I can even squeeze in like that and I can basically look through all my photos and videos here too. And also I had a question, can you record a video while you're uh, live streaming through your TV as well? You can, so let's just do this. Let me go ahead and click on video mode here. Let me pop that up to video mode, just like that. And now here is video mode. Now can we record in video mode? Oh, let, me, let me zoom in here. Okay, so let me go ahead and record now. Let me go ahead and 
tap on this and let me raise this up a little bit you can see the red dot up there so actually I am recording right now and I'm gonna play this back so you can see where the audio actually comes out of okay so test one test two test three let me move on over here and now let me go ahead and stop it and now let's go back into the playback and let's find that where's that video that I just did here Okay, so the video is, it's on that one right there. So let me go ahead and just tap on that one. And now let me press on set again. And now I have to scroll over to where it says play. Let me focus in on there. So let me go back to where it says play and let me press on play. Tap on this and raise it up a little bit. You can see the red dot up there. So actually I am recording right now and I'm going to play this back so you can see where the audio actually comes out of. Okay, so test one, test two, test three. Okay, so there you go. You can see that the audio actually came directly out of my uh, TV. And again, for those of you that have issues um, where it's not like connecting, like again, this is a Canon here and I'll show you basically, if you put this on uh, manual mode, at least on the Canon, it'll give you like all the options here, okay? So once I go into manual mode up here and I go into menu, uh, we can see simply on here. Uh, let me just take it off of there. Let me just disconnect my camera here. And let's pop this open here. And I'll show you the uh, the Wi-Fi. If your phone does have like Wi-Fi, you want to make sure that it is uh, disabled here. So if I just go to menu here, let me focus in on here. And then if I look around here, I can see, okay, Wi-Fi. See where Wi-Fi is? Make sure that that is disabled. And also, I still had issues where I couldn't connect. So what I had to do was I had to go down to the last wrench here and go down to where it says clear settings and tap on that and then I did clear all camera settings and I cleared all custom functions as well. You only get this option here if you have your uh, camera in manual mode. Basically it'll show all the options. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or anything, uh, just comment below. Hope this helped you guys out. If you guys subscribe, that'd be awesome. Thanks, bye. Hey, what's going on guys? So I'm gonna show you guys how you can connect your DSLR to your TV or HDTV or monitor basically any TV that has an HDMI port, okay? And of course, your um, your DSLR does have to be, um, it does have to have a HDMI out on here. And let me show you what that looks like, which is right here, HDMI out. And this should work for, I mean, pretty much all DSLRs, but this one is a Canon, this is a T6i. Uh, for the, those of you outside the US, this is a, um, a 750D. Okay, so it takes a mini HDMI out, all right? So, now the thing is, I mean, you need an HDMI cable. Now you can get one of these here. 